Thank you, Rob. Regressive tax shifting, like the Hocus Pocus sales tax, not only hurts individuals, but it has a big impact on a broad array of local businesses. One example here in Victoria is Victoria Pedicab Company. I'd like to invite Andrew Capo, who's the president of Victoria Pedicab, to come up and tell us how it hurts. Thanks. Hello, my uh, cycling brother and sisters. We're part of this community of cycling as well. We are the uh, pedicabbers who are on the streets of Vancouver, Victoria, in the interior. In fact, there are over hundreds of us who go out over there to earn our living, taking people on sustainable, no emission, fossil fuel free transportation. We. Currently, the way the HST is uh, set up, um, there's uh, the acronym HST. I saw a woman who was wearing a poster and it says, hinders sustainable transportation. And that is exactly what it's doing. Well done. <clears throat> the pedicab community, uh, I myself and a couple other people or colleagues in the industry, we petitioned very hard for a number of years for the Liberal government to give us a PST exemption. After all, it made sense. We weren't producing any emissions. The cycling uh, community was receiving a PST exemption. In fact, the taxis and the buses and the tour buses out there were not having to charge PST. So finally, they thought, you know, you're right. We should provide you with some sort of exemption. And then they did. So to come back and basically do this now, take away this PST exemption, is contradicting themselves. Uh, as a Canadian, it goes against the principles of fairness and justice that we believe in. We can talk about how the HST wasn't even talked about during the election and then it was brought upon us. But it has such an adverse effect on so many industries. The cycling industry is the big one. Now let me draw the numbers for you. If you go into a bike shop in four months, that beginning on July the 1st, the, implement, the suggested implementation date of the HST. Notice I said suggestion. It hasn't uh, come into force yet. We still can uh, sign petitions, we still can go out and uh, we can actually campaign the federal government to take GST off of cycling. If there's no GST on cycling, it will be exempt from HST. That's how it works. The reason why we're having to pay HS or PST uh, in addition to the GST is because we pay, pay GST. And frankly, we shouldn't be paying GST on biking either. This is I'll just finish with, uh, let's make ourselves heard. The squeaky wheel does indeed get grease. <laughs>